It's exciting as hell to shoot. I love when I read them. I love this cast. It's a family. We got some great new female characters. They have this new blood in the bunkhouse and they have these new actors. We're gasoline on their fire. Hey! That energy is evolving the characters and certainly in the relationships. There were a million things that made me want to be on this show. What's your name? Sire. What's that? There's Eden. Hi. Hello. How's it going? It's going great. Greetings from Las Vegas. How are you? Hello. Las Vegas. <laughs> I love Las Vegas. Las Vegas is a very, very special place in my heart. Oh, I'm a native, so that means a lot to me. Thank you so much. Nice. Yeah, of course. We're going through a tough time right now, but, uh, you know, we've always been yeah. resilient, you know, so. Where are you quarantined at? Where are you at? I'm somewhere <laughs> in it's a secret. It's an exciting <laughs> secret. That's great. Somewhere in, in the middle of the States. I love it. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Uh, you know, I had to tell you right off the bat, I just love your dad. You know, I grew up with him from the Goonies to, I interviewed him at the No Country for Your Old Men junket. And, oh, man. Uh, Hill Caesar. I mean, all kinds. Of, he's always been there. So I just want to say how much I adore your dad. So. Oh, I'm so glad. I adore him too. <laughs> well, let's talk about Yellowstone season three. Uh, your character, Mia, she... Sure has caused a ruckus in the bunk bunkhouse this season, hasn't she? She sure has. When she causes a ruckus, is that something, I, sometimes it seems like you go off on your own or is everything you do scripted? I mean, I guess uh, all of it's, I try and stick to scripts, especially if I'm, you know, just coming on to a series as a guest. I get a little bit nervous about like going off too much because I think sometimes you get those actors that come onto set and just decide they're gonna do a whole other thing, which sometimes works really well. And sometimes is a little, you know, so it gets a little messy. Um, so I try and just stick to Taylor's writing, which is so brilliant already that you don't have to do much else to it. Um, other than, you know, just, just, just read, read the words. So I think when there's a little bit more like both the bunkhouse girls, like Mia and Laramie in there, like they get a little bit more rowdy and start to ad lib a little bit, but most of it is just like Taylor's just a great writer, man. And like, it's very easy to read his writing and be like, oh yeah, this makes sense. And every time Rip comes into the bunkhouse, he's shouting or he's angry. But Cole's a sweetheart in real life, isn't he? Yeah, he's, he's a real sweetie. He's awesome. But I would think he'd be like Kramer in Seinfeld. Every time he comes to the bunkhouse, he's going to do something different. <laughs> I know. I know. He really should just start completely, you know, he should start a brand new variety of just like Rip entrances. I think that would be great. I would love to see that. That would be awesome. And the road trip with Jimmy and Rip, you know, music makes the trip so much more fun, doesn't it? It's true. It's true. Who wants to listen to an air conditioner, really? But like strong, silent type, like she said, it's it's not a bad thing. You know, I get it. But music is more fun. And in that road trip with you guys, I mean, at the end of that scene, there was a song I've never heard before. And I'm like, on the internet trying to find it. Oh, yeah. I So it's called Turtles All the Way Down by Sturgill Simpson. It's one of the craziest. I remember hearing it the first time and going, man, this is a really catchy song. Like, it's a beautiful song. It's interesting melodically. Like, you know, musically, it was fascinating to me. And then I heard the lyrics and was like, oh, my. Like, these lyrics are insane in the best possible way. You know, his, it's just, it's meta modern country music that's exactly what it is and it just like he hits he hits it right on the head um but yeah that's a that's a great great song i've really like grown to adore that song it's it's definitely on the daily playlist and amelia isn't afraid of anything she's a hard worker and she can stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with the bunkhouse boys can't she oh yeah oh yeah she's going her own pace she's doing her own thing i think she like she wants what she wants, and if she decides that something's not working for her, she's just, you know, she's walking. And I have to bring up, you know, Jimmy in the hospital scene. It's probably one of the most memorable coming-of-age moments in television history. Was it, yeah. awkward, was it awkward doing that? Because I, it came off really beautiful, I thought. No, it was really, you know, they, they closed the set off, so it was just really, like, quiet, intimate. Um, and Jefferson White, who plays Jimmy, is just, like, the most um, kind, 
courteous, warm, gentlemanly, you know, actors in the world. And he's just, um, I felt so lucky because that was only my second day on set. And he just made me feel very safe and very at home. And I think that's something that, especially in the industry we're in, is vital to, like, the comfort of other actors and actresses. Um, it just was, it, it made all the difference. It was very, very sweet. So I'm grateful to him. And Taylor Sheridan certainly bolsters the series with so many female characters, but they're all very strong. Just they, they're almost, they're equals to the men. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think at the same time, like they do, the, the female characters on this show sport very, um, you know, uh, assertive and go-getter energy but I think what's really amazing about like a main character like Beth and Kelly Riley who plays her is just like magnificent um what's amazing to me about Beth is that she can come in with this with this go-getter energy this like nothing's gonna stop me energy and then can also have a scene like we saw a couple episodes ago in the third season with Rip um and, and and scenes with her her and John Dutton as well, where you see this side of her that is um, willing to be completely broken and vulnerable, and the fact that that's okay, and there's nothing wrong with showing um, showing both sides and, and, a, and a whole spectrum of emotions, whether you're a man or a woman. I think it's really like incredible what Taylor has done with the female characters on this show that. You know, first and foremost, they're go-getters, but they're they're willing to share a softness with the audience that I think is is incredibly important. And was it a jolt for you to go from outer space and beyond to the wild outback of Montana for Yellowstone? I mean, <laughs> outer space and beyond. Um, yeah, it was a it was it was a good it was a good transition. It was it was exciting. I'd been wanting to do a show like this and to, and I say that you know I, I'd been wanting to do a show like this knowing that getting on to Yellowstone actually was probably going to be nearly impossible and the fact that it happened is um insane to me still so it it's very exciting to make that um transition it's very cool one of my favorite movies of the year if not the best film of 2020 so far I think is Arkansas and uh, I had such wow. a pleasure to interview um, Duke. You know, I had pleasure to interview him a few months ago. Can you give me one of your favorite stories from the set or your experience on Arkansas? Arkansas was um, was a special and weird time. I think I I I worked only so many days, but I ended up being there for the entire shoot. Um, so it was a lot of kind of finding things to do around rural Alabama while I wasn't working. Um, but being there was amazing. And Clark is just like, Clark did such a good job with that movie. Having been a first, you know, a, a directorial debut is just like it, he, he's incredible. And I can't really believe that he pulled that off still. And it ended up being a great movie, but, um, I think my favorite thing about being in Alabama to shoot. Arkansas, strangely enough, was I went to a, I went to an alligator preserve, and I went a couple times because it was one of my favorite things. Just going to like see just these piles of alligators, just like enjoying the the acres and acres they had of space. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was really sick. And I think from being like from the West Coast was was super exciting for me to see. <laughs> Well, and thank you so much for talking to me about season three of Yellowstone. I understand season four is coming up. I can't wait. We got two episodes left for this season, though. And you're a, a big fan favorite on all the on the uh, Facebook and Twitter. So uh, thank you so much for talking to me today. And uh, good luck with season four. We can't we can't wait. That's awesome. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I'm excited to see the rest of season three too. It's going to be awesome. Well, come visit us in Las Vegas when you're done. We'd love to have you. I will for sure. I can't wait to go back. Thanks, Eden. Take care. Thank you.